Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 and unfortunately not a Teardown 2 video today but I wanted to show you a really cool project and useful project that I made. So you might be wondering why I'm sitting you know, in, in a dimly lit room with uh, not much lighting and uh, well let's see, let there be light. So I'm constantly apologizing for the uh, the horrible lighting in my room during my videos. So I was uh, surfing eBay and just want to show you guys I found LED strip lighting and so I bought quite a bit of it and um, so the next problem is how to control it. So I built this controller right in here which is a uh, it's a PIC 12F675. I'm using the ADC to read a potentiometer so I can actually dim in real time. It does pulse width modulation in software. And basically it has a really cool feature which I'd like to show you. It's um, basically a linear um, dimming and when it first turns on it ramps up. So when it turns off, it ramps down very nicely. It looks a lot better in real life than on the camera. And when it turns on, likewise, gets nice and bright. So I just want to show you maybe if I can the actual lighting action. Dim down. And it's really nice. And as you can see, it's enough to cover basically my entire desk my uh, dresser there and my bed so I can read in bed now which is really really cool notice the uh, the iFixit <laughs> self repair manifesto there but um, I'm actually really happy about this it's uh, nice and bright um, it's I mean given for its price it ended up costing me five dollars for a couple meters and I split it with my roommate so it ended up costing me two dollars and fifty cents controller that I made, which I had to actually properly solder up, it's right there. Um, I'm gonna have to solder that up, but other than that, I had all those parts to begin with, so it didn't cost me anything pretty much. And now I have a perfectly usable light source so that when I do teardowns, I can see what I'm doing, and more importantly, you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm very happy about this. I'm gonna be posting on my website full software, hex file, source code and schematics. I've decided I might as well just open source this anyway like like I like to do with all my projects. So I'll hopefully get that up when I'm uh, not so busy but um, until then I'll see you guys hopefully next time for the uh, Teardown 2 video this week. So until then, bye!